Hey everybody! Hey. How y'all doing today? We just beat the mini boss in Jabu Jabu. And now we are on our way to find out what happened to Princess Rudo. What is that? Ooh. I'm gonna go kill the Octorok first. So he doesn't mess with us. That's not the attitude I wanted to see. Missed it. Come on. Got him. Alright. So now. Boomerang. Then we can step on it, but it's very short lived. Alright, come on, Link. Stop this. Come on, get ah. it together. Let's go. Oh, that was close. Yeah. Alright. What are these doors supposed to be? I don't know, like second buttholes. <laughs> um, I think this will go up or down. The exact opposite. So this was that room again earlier. It's kind of like our hub room. It's connected now. Remember this room? Yes. That was like the very first room we entered. Is this a door? Yeah. Oh, I need Princess Rudo. Dang it. Oh no, I can use one of those boxes on the other side. Yeah. If they're blue, you need to hold it down. You can't just step on it. And if it's yellow, you need extra weight. I guess. I think if it's just white, you can step on it. It stays down. Yeah, I didn't notice the color of the extra weight one. Well, I did. Just, you stand on it. I thought I could place it in front of me. Nope. Too advanced. We're like towards the end boss. Like I think this is like the last room. How did how did she even get through in here? I don't know. I don't know what she's doing, man. Like you want you want us to walk you around, but then you just leave us and somehow get all the way through the rest of the dungeon. Story of my Oops. life. <laughs> Someone's going, oh hey, well, let's go do this, and then nothing. <laughs> There's a oh geez, where'd you come from? Right next to you. Come on. Yeah. All right. Got him. See, I'm not wasting my deck with <laughs> I guess I can just climb out there. Cause I gotta do that anyway. Oh, uh, I don't know how many we have. I think it's like 13 or 14. <laughs> yeah, I think it's 13. Let's check. Fourteen. Call it. Um. Yes. Can't use the slingshot. I use the boomerang because it goes in an arc. Oh. Missed it. Hit it. it. Cool. Whoa. Oh, come Whoa. on. Come on, Link. Oh Whoa. my God. Whatever. Thought he would jump. If I tried hard enough. Well, he did it. Congratulations. <laughs> oh, it's the boss. What? Yep. What? Right into it, man. This dungeon is very short if you know what you're doing, but it's very like backtracking and hard if you don't know what you're doing. What a jellyfish is. Not just a jellyfish. This boss is actually pretty cool. I like a hive mind jellyfish plant thing. Baronade. Bioelectric anemone. Well, guess what? It's an anemone of me. Alright, so we gotta take out these guys. Ah. Circling works pretty well on a lot ah. of bosses. Oh, jeez. Ah. This boss is actually pretty difficult. Hit it. Sweet. Hit it. Because <laughs> all of these jellyfish, they're at different lengths. <laughs> Gotta use that jump attack to get double damage. <laughs> Jeez. If you just use your shield, though, like, you're invincible. Watch. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. Sweet. <laughs> Congratulations. I was like, watch, I won't be. I wonder if I can get him. Well, I think you can if you like get it right. Yeah, there you go. Oh, now I gotta take out the jellyfish. 
Yeah, this is definitely the hardest of the kid bosses. I mean, as it should be. Come on. Alright. Oh, come on. Thought I got him. Ah, that's it. Now I gotta get End him. End it. End what? it. Now he's coming out of the ground. End it. Ah. Ah. I think he's gonna get more jellyfish or something. I don't know. Doesn't look like it. No. Ah. Alright, I feel like this. Alright. It's taking a lot of hits. Yes. Yes, it is. I keep using the slingshot on accident. It's very finicky about the direction. We're not actually using it. Yeah, you just like pull, you it pull it out, pulling it out. <laughs> Jeez, Brendan. <laughs> That's it. Ah! I knew it. I felt it. Gross. It is really gross. <laughs> Brody. I don't know what that green gas was. That, gross. That was an enemy poopy. <laughs> Got that heart piece. Up to six now. Like. Hey, look, it's Princess Rudo. What is it? She got here somehow. Humans are made out of like 70% water, correct? Um, is that what they say? I think it's more than that. Is it? The Earth is 70% water. That's true. I think the humans are like 90 something percent. How much. How much poop are we? <laughs> I don't know. You know, you can donate your poop. Yeah? Yeah. I heard about that Shit. on a morning show once. Um. They're like very specific about it. It's not like just as easy as you would think, you know? Like you just, but I mean, it's just like donating anything, like blood, bone marrow, whatever. I will gladly donate poop if they let me. <laughs> you have to be like, like it's like very strict conditions and specific things that you have to have. I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm totally, I'm totally what you need. <laughs> I want that spiritual stone or nothing really. I'm gonna give that get that spiritual stone. Yo, girl, I want that that spiritual stone. She said I should give it to only the man who will be my husband. Ooh. The Zora's engagement ring. All right, I'll give it to you. <laughs> what? All right, so now we already have two engagements lined up. We're gonna be marrying Malin. And we're gonna be marrying Rudo. Damn! Fuck monogamy. <laughs> it's Link, all about polygamy. Link is a baller. And we got that Zora's ruby, or Damn. sapphire, not ruby. The Goron's ruby and the Zora sapphire. Mm. Mm. I also think we can hit up a mm. fairy fountain right now before mm. we go do the next part. Link, Link's metaphorically and literally swimming in it. <laughs> Woo! Yes, he is. All right, so this is the whole, like, you, you know this game is like the whole three dungeons, then more dungeons. The way Zelda is structured. It's like three dungeons. Nah, just kidding. There's like seven more. <laughs> so now we got like a bunch more dungeons to do. That that one screen where it was like, don't tell my father. Mm -hmm. That that slightly weirded me out a little bit. <laughs> I'm your daddy now, Rudo. <gasps> Damn! Ew! I hate when people say daddy. Hey. I like to say it ironically, not like seriously. See, see that that's what happened with me. I started saying bro and bruh and uh -huh. brah, ironically. Uh huh. And now it's like a staple. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> <laughs> the one rock. <laughs> it's like the main part of any of my conversations. Uh -huh. I have to say bro or bruh. At some point, <laughs> or else I don't feel right. Yeah, I do that all the time. Like I start saying something ironically, and then it just becomes natural. <laughs> yeah. So you might want to be careful when you're saying "daddy." <laughs> it's been a while. I mean, I don't Hell really have to worry about whoa. it. I'm not going to be calling a girl "daddy," <laughs> so I don't know. I just like say it to Zach all the time, ironically. Um. Damn, I found a magic woo! 
Give you a magic spell. I think this is going to be Furore's wind. More like Brendan's wind. Breaking it. <laughs> um, This who, one's actually pretty cool. Who is Furore? That was one of the three goddesses. Sweet. So this one, you can like set it somewhere in the dungeon, and then you can warp back to that place at any time. So like if you die, you always go back to the beginning of the dungeon. But if you have this, then you can just warp back to where you were. Wait. So that's nice. You can use it like right before a boss room or something. Sweet. Yeah. Remember. So like in a lot of Zeldas, once you beat the mini boss, they would make their own warp point to that. But this one was like, eh, you can make your own warp points. Like I'm playing through Link's Awakening right now. And that's yeah. how that one is. It's a great game, by the way. Bye, hot lady. <laughs> a lot of people miss this uh, fairy fountain. Because it's like tucked in the back of the river here. So you might notice that there's a, um, I think you can see it when you're a kid. There's like a heart piece way down there. Maybe you can only see it when you're an adult. But anyway, it's like way farther than you can get to right now. You need the iron boots. Which will bring you to the bottom. Oh yeah, I think I remember getting those. Like getting that heart that you're talking about. Mm-hmm back when I was first playing. Oh, I think it's like way down there. Yeah. It's like, I think I remember like reading a guy hey, and to, like get through like the water temple. Uh -huh. And I was like, you should go Whoops. to Zora's domain or whatever and get the tar piece. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh fuck, all right. <laughs> I'm like, I'm DT G H P. <laughs> Down to get heart piece. Same. Always down to get heart piece. How many heart pieces do we have? Like, would it be worth it to pick up another one? Yeah, we still need two more. Cause we could always light those um torches in this place. Yeah. I'm tempted to just do that thing where I save and reset. Cause we gotta go to high rule. I don't know what'll be faster. I think it'll be about the same length, so I'm not going to. Yeah. Well, whatever. We're gonna get two high rule. On the next episode. Yeah, we'll be there. Bye. See you guys.